Hello and welcome back to John's Fiddle Lessons at BluegrassDaddy.com. I'm John and I just purchased a cheap fiddle off of eBay and we set it up in three lessons. Um, a couple more things I, I guess I should have told you. I was sort of lucky into this bridge was to the right shape. Sometimes you buy a new fiddle and the bridge that comes with it is really high and the strings are too high off of the fingerboard. And so what you can do in that case is sort of um, take some sanding paper and just go over the top of the bridge so that um, you lower it down until the strings aren't so high off the fingerboard. But it's up to you. High strings off the fingerboard make a loud tone. If you want a loud fiddle, you want high strings to work well for you. Um, lower strings, it's easier to note, but it makes it a, more of a softer tone. So just the, however you like it, that's the way you do it. Also, I put on a um, shoulder rest. I've got the shoulder rest here. It adjusts, you can bring this foot, the foot of the rest in, okay, by adjusting this little screw there to, to fit your fiddle, and it just grabs to the back. Wow. Just like that. You can turn it this way or rotate it around that way. And uh, I like mine to curve this way. Most people curve it. I like mine to curve down here. Most people have theirs to where it curves up the other way. So let's put it to our chins. Okay. You want to put the fiddle kind of firmly against your neck or near your shoulder, near where your collar, or over top of your collarbone. And then your, um, then your chin can hold it. Look no hands and so um, <clears throat> when when I start fiddle students I'm not very strict on form because you can really um, turn somebody off of fiddling by just forcing them to hold it in a way that you think is more correct so what I do is just let them get put it in a comfortable position and after a few weeks of playing then we start to work on you know you could hold it like this and it'll be a little better but my form is not great and yours doesn't have to be either if you're a fiddler. If you get serious about it, then you can uh, really, there's some good videos out there where you can work on your form. Until then, uh, try to get it where you can hold it under your chin, um, kind of the side of your chin with no hands, okay? And then um, when you do hold it with the left hand, put your thumb to where it's just peeking up over the left side, okay? And your fingers play there. You want some space between the hill of your hand and the fiddle. So when you go out and play high notes, you're not resting the fiddle on that palm, on the hill of your hand. All right. So you want to have some space there. Um, when you hold your bow, take a look at my hand. I've got my thumb under the between the frog and the between the bow and the hair. You can put it up under the frog like that as well. And your fingers don't. You don't want to grip. You don't make a fist or curl around the bow. Your fingers should just rest lightly on the top of the bow. You should be able to do this. Um, it's pretty much the first knuckle for these three fingers and the pinky, the tip of the pinky is resting on there. Okay. So here's my fiddle. I'm going to play it. It sounds pretty decent. <laughs> The more I play it, the better it's going to sound. A brand new fiddle sounds a little bit nasally, it has new strings, but the more I play it, the more it's going to mellow. 